is is it working on zoom too yes sure. okay all right so you're going to get a great tour of the kvs ltr tomorrow but just to give you a brief overview kvs ltr is very interested in land use intensity and how it impacts ecosystem services um, for this specific talk, I'll be talking about soil carbon pools, uh, but just to orient you, uh, the KVS LTR goes from an annual row crop intensively managed gradient uh, to monoculture perennials and then uh, conservation and semi-natural lands. And we're very interested in thinking about resources such as carbon and nitrogen, but also thinking about biodiversity and evolutionary adaptation. And so my grad student and I published this paper last year where we were looking at a specific soil carbon pool because as you know, it takes a long time to see differences in soil carbon, uh, which is why LTR is such an important uh, component for assessing soil carbon and or soil organic matter. Um, but for this specific metric, what we see is that we see a continuous increase in uh, this permanganate oxidized well carbon pool across the gradient. So we have elevated levels in the unmanaged systems, which is what we'd expect with just greater overall um, above ground biodiversity and biomass and then also um, fine root production happening uh, in those unmanaged systems. But when we show farmers this uh, data set, they often ask, you know, am I going to see the same thing on my own farm? And we haven't really been able to answer that here at the KVS LTER uh, until recently when we've started to do more on farm work. So the way that we try to scale what we see here at the KVS LTR is through using mail-in soil surveys. So we contact farmers from across the Midwest and the Eastern Corn Belt. They send us a, a, a management survey and send us a soil sample. And for this specific project, we looked at um, certified organic corn growers across four states. And those four states, um, oops, some troubles here were uh, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. And we ended up getting a representative of 195 soil samples. So some of you might think that's actually not that much, um, but when we think about actually working farms, um, sending us soils and getting us management survey data that actually hasn't really been done in the literature. Um, and so what we see when we look at this data set um, is some really interesting things. One of the big success is that we actually are able to compile a large regional database of various soil health metrics, which do tell us a lot about soil organic matter on working landscapes. But some challenges are that this is spatially dubious. We only get one composite soil sample per farm. Um, and so we need to think of better ways in which we can actually sample these uh, farms more intensively to really get at soil carbon stocks. Um, but some surprising findings is that results don't actually match what we see in the LTER. What we found was that when we see an increase in crop diversification, we see a slight decrease in these soil health metrics. Um, and when we looked further into the data, we actually found that um, farmers were actually having to increase their tillage frequency to get more crops into their rotation. Again, these are organically managed farms where they don't have access to herbicides and pesticides. They have to rely on tillage and that tillage is really decreasing their overall soil health. Um, and what we also found is that when they add more perennials into the rotation, they're obviously uh, having to till much less. Um, so this really gives us um, insight into why it's really important to uh, sample on working landscapes. They're doing management practices that we didn't necessarily think uh, to incorporate into the KBS LTER. They're, tillage, they're using tillage much more frequently than we would expect. Um, and so one thing that we're really working on in the future is we're committed to conducting more on-farm research to assess various ecosystem services and really trying to capture that management complexity. And one way that we're trying to do that um, is through expanding a farmer panel survey uh, through the KBS LTR. So uh, capturing management survey data from thousands of farms across the Midwest. We're also doing farmer interviews to really try to understand what exactly farmers are doing on their fields and then hoping to expand some long-term on-farm trials to um, help complement 
the KVS LCR work. Um, and I'll end there. Thank you.